and welcome back to another episode of Life in Prison. As always, my name is Zach. Unfortunately, I spent five years of my life in maximum security prison. Since getting out, I've went and got my medical degree, and I am now helping others who cannot help themselves. I'm still in contact with individuals that still are doing time in prison, whether it be for drugs, for murder, for robbery, for kidnapping, all types of things, except for pedophilia. Just to show you an inside look of what it actually is like living life in prison. Through all the years that I've ever been locked up, even though I only did prison time from 2011 to 2016, I've done plenty of jail sentences. And throughout my jail sentences and prison sentences, throughout different prisons, you come across a variety of different COs and staff. What today's video is on is the different types of staff that you come through. COs. Sometimes people think that they're God, right? And sometimes individuals, they know their place, right? Coming here to get a paycheck. It's pretty much what it is. So today we're going to be talking about all the different types of COs that you will encounter while being incarcerated. Unfortunately, hopefully you guys don't ever have to go through that. That's why we do these videos, to keep those from going down the same paths that we also did ourselves. So, first off, you're going to have the Captain save a all right? These types of correction officers are the ones that, man, they really fucking hate you. It doesn't matter if you're in there for murder, for drugs, for child support, for DUI, it doesn't matter. They think that you are scum of the earth and they will let you know that you are trash to them. Unfortunately, those are the first types of COs that get knocked out whenever something happens. This is what I want people to think about, right? Whenever you go to work in a facility, right? There's another YouTuber out there, uh, Jared Gore. He uh, was a CO up here in West Virginia prisons for a little bit, a couple years ago. And uh, he's been on Blood on the Razor Wire, and he's told his story about what it's actually like being a CO in a maximum security prison. And this man was in, you know, in the thick of it, pretty much. Being up there at Mount Olive, which state-wise, West Virginia, is the maximum top security prison that you can go to. That's where the dudes go that have thousand-year sentences, multiple life sentences, or they're just never getting out, pretty much. All the action goes down up there. Whenever people are getting killed on a yearly basis, that's exactly where it's at. And he's got some crazy stories because if I've seen some things and if my homeboys have seen some things, God only knows what the COs have seen. Do you get what I'm saying? You come across some dudes that are laid back, that are cool, that realize, hey, you're a human being too. Those are the types of COs that pretty much have it a good ride, right? So it comes up to number two. You've got the asshole COs, right? And the list of those goes down, right? But then we'll jump over here to the pretty much the okay COs, right? So whenever you go in and you realize that this is a job, these are human beings also, just like if you were to work at any other type of company or organization, right? You're gonna have employees, right? So with the items that you're dealing with being humans, now if you have a soul, that's what will come out. Because at the end of the day, people did wrong, just like me and you. There's people that I know that have done plenty of crimes, right? But they've never gotten in trouble, never went to jail, nor prison. But they've still done them. We're not perfect. No one's perfect. So whenever you're CEO and you realize this, you're job day is going to be so much easier because the inmates know that you're level-headed with them. As long as they come with respect, that's exactly what they're going to get. Unfortunately, not all COs are like that. Um, then you have the fake CO, the one that's super cool to your face, but then go behind your back and write up reports. And the only way you'll find out is when you go to court and they show up with their face smiling. They'll act cool to the inmates for them to give up information, but then they go behind the inmates back and write them up and get them in trouble and get their time knocked off. These are the joker, the two-faced COs. Eventually, obviously, they get caught because people end up figuring out 
what the hell is really going on. Um, there's a few CEOs, honestly, I've seen go up to people's cells, get tattoo work done, and don't say a thing. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, if they get caught, they would get fired, unfortunately. What blows my mind is if you, if you look at the bigger picture, right? Step back from jail, step back from prison. Who are the ones that own these facilities? Who's the ones that are making money off these facilities? Who's profiting off each individual going inside? You will fucking see that it goes all the way to the top. The people that own music corporations, companies, and labels, right? People of high influence that have a lot of money. You got to think the prison private sector is very profitable. It takes, what, 30 something thousand dollars to hold each inmate a year? Okay, so think about that. If you go to these prisons and it's 30 something thousand dollars plus to hold these inmates, how many inmates are in these facilities? Okay. So why are these facilities packed and jammed full and been overcrowded, right? The more people that they have in there, the more money that they are getting. But look at the supplies. How much does it actually cost to hold an inmate? You really think it costs 30 something thousand dollars to hold an inmate? Look at the trays, the food that they're getting, the necessities that they have. You know what I'm saying? Like, not only that, but every place, if you look at it's every place is understaffed. Every facility. How is that? Everybody needs jobs, right? How are you understaffed? So you're collecting millions upon millions upon millions of dollars, but you're overworking your staff because there's no one working there. Unfortunately, with the jails and stuff, once the people that start getting rank, right? Once the CEOs start really getting rank up, and if they're the asshole CEOs, you gotta think all the new people that are coming in and training are training underneath these assholes. So now you have a f whole flock of new asshole CEOs run around the place, treating inmates very poorly. At the end of the day, I do realize that not every single inmate is level-headed, right? They all don't use common sense. A lot of them are assholes, you know, that's life, I guess. If anybody that's ever worked in the, uh, what do you want to call it? Customer service, pretty much. When you're dealing with the public, you, you very much are aware of how some of these customers can act, right? So you can only think of the individuals that's in prison. These inmates are those customers, assholes. It's funny because a lot of the times the CEOs, they want you to respect them, but they don't want to give it back, right? So then you have the CEOs that go around looking only for trouble, right? They're the ones that, for instance, up at Huntsville, we had a CEO, uh, we, we called him the tattoo Nazi because his mission every day came in for work was looking to see if anybody had any new tattoos hence tattoo nazi and i'm telling you first off if it's summertime and you're wearing long sleeves he's pulling you over checking your arms out checking your back out something's going on especially if you're wearing a sweatshirt during the summertime because a lot of times you know it'll start leaking through the blood it'll go through your regular shirt so then you have a backup a sweatshirt to go over top of that you was getting pulled over strip searched why are you wearing this right now right? If you want to be a successful CEO, there's only one thing you need to do. Be consistent on who you are. And I say this because you don't need to change who you are as an individual once you walk into those doors, okay? If you're an asshole, that's fine. Just be consistent as an asshole so that these inmates know how to act around you accordingly. Because if you act an asshole one day and then you act cool and joking around with the inmates, Okay, well, then they're going to think that's fine to come up and joke around. But then when you switch up to that being that asshole again, now, you know what I'm saying? Just be consistent. We see it on the news where inmates are having sex with COs and they're getting busted because these ones end up pregnant and they end up bringing drugs in and getting caught. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot more on the news now, especially now with social media, especially with inmates having cell phones inside the facilities. We've all seen it where 
There's inmates and COs hugging and kissing stuff all over social media. What do you think's gonna happen? To get respect, you gotta give it, right? This was just a short video on different types of COs you'll come across. The nice ones, the asshole ones, the fake ones. As with any day in life, you're gonna have the fake ones. If you haven't already, gonna go ahead and check out stonecollectorsupply.com. My buddy Caleb is finishing off with this Halloween drop. As I said before, if you haven't already caught it, go ahead and check them out. I'm curious to see what the new drop is going to be. We've got Thanksgiving coming up and we've got Christmas. So Caleb, let us know what's going on so we can go ahead and check out the new merch that will be coming up soon. As always, Stone Collector Supply Company over on Instagram and stonecollectivesupply.com is where you can find the hottest and newest drops. Caleb, as always, fucking love you, brother. Keep the drops coming. If you haven't already done it, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and make sure you hit that notification button so you'll be first informed when I upload. This is just a short video on the different types of series you're gonna come across. You're gonna have some nice ones, you're gonna have some fucking assholes, and then you're gonna have some fake face ones. Regardless, at the end of the day, they're just there doing their job, trying to get a paycheck like every single last one of us. So as always, guys, you know I send my utmost love load to respect. Keep y'all head up, stay positive, keep pushing positivity, and don't give up. I'm out.